I just want to let you all know that it saddens me that this is the most popular part of my ministry. These videos where I expose the megachurches, the satanic megachurches, I have decoded the entire book of Revelation. I have written a book. I have founded my own ministry and I teach a lot more than this garbage, okay? But it seems to be the only thing any of you are interested in. This is how I've gained all my views. Satanic rituals are what you all want to see, isn't it? That's what you're interested in. It's all to do with the Illuminati Anyway, if that's what you want, uh, that's what you're going to get. Uh, here's another video. The 2019 uh, Easter Sunday ritual from Hillsong. Coming up now. Well, they've gone and done it again, haven't they? Hopefully there aren't any children present. Uh, because I'm sure they'd know what is wrong with this even though the adults are blind to it I have no idea why this is Hillsong 2019 I am a centurion commander of many armies defender of Rome presentation trailer this is just a trailer they say he is the prophesied king Doing, mate? You look ridiculous. The people are rallying behind him, and day by day the prospect of insurrection grows. What is this? Is this the man? I have heard of him, healing the sick and preaching peace to the masses. Is he really the one to spark a revolution? This is just a train. I am a centurion. I have seen death, but never death like this. So disgusting, so carnal. Uh, <laughs> what I'll do now is I'll go through the video um, of the presentation itself. Yes, someone has uploaded it. Uh, I managed to capture that from YouTube. And it's similar to the 2016 um, presentation they did, a ritual. Uh, it's not a presentation, it's a ritual. Uh, that's so evident. I, I mean, if you haven't woken up to this by now, then... Uh, uh, you deserve what's coming to you, I'm afraid. <laughs> you should get out of there. You should flee to the mountains when you see stuff like this happening in your church. <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I'm going to find the video now and I'll show you that one as well. Until this hour, but now the skull demands its kill and the hellish hordes are hungry to devour. God have mercy on us all.
let me spell this out for you uh, because many of you are still a little bit thick uh, and just aren't getting it this man right here is Brian Houston and he has co-founded Hillsong Church with his wife Bobby Houston and his father founded Sydney Christian Life Centre and that then became Hillsong Church as his son took over uh, his father's a paedophile yeah, uh, this church was founded on paedophilia. Yeah. Not on a rock. Which doesn't mean church, by the way. I, I'm going to go through that scripture in a later video. Uh, Jesus was not talking about um, a church. Yeah, when he said upon this rock I shall found my church the translation is wrong I'll go, go through that the Greek translation is assembly and you check the verse before it where Jesus asked Peter who he says he was he knew he was the Christ what Jesus was referring to is Peter's strong foundations were upon which he would found his assembly of Christians, his followers, those that believe in him as Christ. Doesn't say anything about a church. <clears throat> All right, Roman Catholics. I mean, I, I'm amazed uh, at your lack of understanding of Jesus's words. Uh, when you interpret this to mean upon Peter's dead body, a church shall be built and they come up with these fanciful stories that they found Peter's remains in Rome <coughs> nonsense and even if that were the case that's not what Jesus was talking about okay you've misinterpreted it woeful lack of understanding so Jesus does not found uh, his church uh, upon paedophilia, which is also uh, a very big problem in uh, the Roman Catholic Church, isn't it? Yeah, you're nearly twice as likely for your children to be molested in a Roman Catholic Church uh, than anywhere else. So paedophiles everywhere you look satanists yeah performing satanic rituals I mean come on why are you still going there I'm addressing the leadership at Hillsong now I know some of you are deeply involved and you feel that you have gained a sense of purpose but you know that something is wrong you don't know what to do you know you should leave but you're afraid of what you will be losing you love your church, you love the people in your church and you aren't prepared to make that sacrifice because of how much is at stake I know all of these things because I've been there and I won't lie to you when I left made that very hard decision to leave it took a long time to get over it I lost friends yeah I lost that sense of purpose even if it wasn't much you felt like you were doing God's work by being there in church and serving on a team, tithing, etc. That was all gone. I felt like I was nobody. Yeah, 
I wasn't making a difference anymore. I know all of these things are going through your head and that's why you don't want to leave. But after several months, perhaps even one or two years, you'll eventually be over it. And you'll begin to see, comparing your life now um, with then, uh, what what it did to your character, how it changed you. You'll find that you're becoming a better person. And then, eventually, you will be abundantly blessed by God for making that very important decision to leave. And getting over it. Okay? I know this is the case for a lot of celebrities in Hollywood as well. You don't want to give up all that fame and fortune. Yeah? You like the status. You like being recognised. You like having fans and everybody loving you. And looking up to you. Having that big influence. But you know you've got to... You've got to do something very important. Yeah? You know you've got to do the right thing and for most of you uh, you know that you wouldn't succeed if you did you wouldn't be as successful would you but you have to make that very important sacrifice okay things will get better eventually and you'll be glad that you did as am I So yeah, I hope you get through it, I hope you do the right thing, you know what it is, and I, I'm praying for all of you, those on team at Hillsong, and some of the leaders, yeah, um, that are still a bit naive, you've seen the videos. You've been there, in it, and if it doesn't horrify you and make you want to leave, I, I don't know what's wrong with you, okay. Uh, I know how powerful and enticing the worship music is, right, I know that's one of the main reasons that you're staying there. You want to worship God, I won't lie to you. When you leave, you can't do it. You can't worship God as you once did. All you have is your Bible to look to and you won't want to go to another church uh, because they're taking, they're taking over all the churches. The NWO are going for local churches now. Yeah? They want them all. And it isn't the place to be in the end times. Okay? The Bible teaches us this. So it's difficult. You can't worship God anymore. You can only pray and fast and, and stick to your Bibles. But it is imperative that we do that in the end times. Yeah. And those who do will know that they've got to get out. Rawr. Whoa. Take it easy, man.